In the minutes after the quake, there's a strange, heavy silence, followed by confusion, then panic. Communication networks are down, cell towers have fallen, power grids fail across cities and towns. Without information or instruction, people are left to navigate the chaos on their own. Emergency services, already impacted by the shaking, are stretched thin. Some fire stations and hospitals are damaged or completely inaccessible. First responders face blocked roads, damaged equipment, and limited coordination. Then the ground begins to change again, this time driven by forces deep below. Soft, water-saturated areas the soil begins to liquefy, homes tilt, roads buckle, entire neighborhoods slowly sink into the ground, gas lines rupture under city streets, fires break out, spreading across districts where water pressure is gone and fire crews can't reach them, airports close, runways crack, hospitals, running on backup power, begin evacuating patients into parking lots. Tens of thousands are injured, thousands are already dead. And while the region reels from the impact, another danger, much larger, is already in motion offshore.